Hi everyone, welcome back to Garden. If you grow an exotic jungle or tropical themed garden here in the UK, then I'm pretty sure you'd be aware that a lot of the exciting, unusual plants that we can use to create these amazing effects are often a bit controversial. I'm thinking about plants like tetrapanax, bamboo to name the big one, but now unfortunately, one of my absolute favorite plants, Gunnera, is added to that list. Yes, Gunnera cryptica, the plant that you most likely have bought as manicata or known as manicata, is now added to the ban list of plants that we can't cultivate, propagate or sell here in the UK. You might have seen the Guardian article, I'll put a link to it in the description below. I had about 300 people send that to me a few days ago, let me know about this information. You might have noticed the updated advice on the RHS website or you might have seen Yorkshire Chris's very prompt video, he must have an insider over at DEFRA, <laughs> explaining what this means to us gardeners. Today I wanted to go through a bit more of an explanation about Gunnera plants and a few of my thoughts on the subject that I hope you'll find interesting. I should say I'm not a botanist, I've not personally read any of the scientific papers published on the matter, but I do have some thoughts on the subject. Having grown this plant for so many years, it was my favorite plant when I was younger and it still is now. And it's a plant I enjoy seeing in gardens throughout the country. Generally speaking, the big gardens, tree bed, they've got a forest of them. It really is just an amazing sight. Chatsworth, this plant is used to incredible effect. Dotted all around the water areas, at the base of the waterfall, it absolutely is stunning. But what does this ban mean for us UK growers? With it being a gloomy December day as I'm filming this video, my gunner are currently packed away for winter, nestled under these leafy teepees to protect them from any deep cold that might occur. But to briefly summarise the two main kinds of gunner and hopefully explain why this ban has come into place, well, let me go through it. Originally, a bit of a simplification, but those two main kinds of large leaf gunner are brought into the country. Those gunner manicata, a huge, exotic, graceful looking plant from Brazil. Then there was also gunner tinctoria, which superficially is the same kind of plant, big leaves held up on stalks, slightly smaller, but a lot tougher, a lot more resilient and hardier in our UK climate which turned out to not just be a positive, but also be a drawback as well. As in recent years, Gunnera tinctoria has found to be massively invasive in parts of Ireland, Scotland, the wetter, milder areas where this plant can outcompete the native vegetation, which I'm sure we can all agree is definitely not a good thing. But that Gunnera tinctoria was banned from sale here in the UK a good few years ago now. Unfortunately, that hasn't stopped it being sold. And most of the plants that were labeled up as manicata here in the country were actually tinctoria. So that ban hasn't actually stopped the spread of this plant potentially into the wild. Now, this is where matters get murkier still. Something that some of us growers suspected for a few years now was actually proven earlier this year or last year, which is that the plants that we believe were manicata, the big plants, were actually a hybrid between manicata, the sort that was originally brought in, and the smaller, hardier tinctoria, which probably goes some way to explain why the plants that we thought were manicata have proven so tough and hardy, needing only minimal winter protection, even in the colder parts of the country. It might also be the reason why the plants are so much more vigorous than the genuine manicata with potentially even bigger leaves. They were reclassified as cryptica, which means that for those of us that thought were growing manicata, there's very likely to be a good amount of tictoria genes in those plants. Before I give some of my hopefully balanced thoughts and questions on the issue, I think that's why DEFRA have made the decision to ban Gunnera cryptica here in the UK, to name it as a plant of invasive concern. It's purely because the plants that we thought were pure manicata are now known to contain tinctoria genes, so the potential is there to be invasive. And I think that potential really is the key word. Because of that, they decided to ban this plant from sale, cultivation, from spreading around here in the UK, which is obviously their decision and something that we should all respect. But for me personally, when it comes to this hybrid in particular, my main question is, is it actually invasive or is it just the potential? That's probably the tricky one. I don't know about you, feel free to leave your comments in the section below. Has Gunnera cryptica actually self-seeded in your garden? <laughs> because most people that I've spoken to, admittedly in our small exotic garden niche, have actually struggled to germinate this plant even when they're trying to. I've obviously got no desire to be controversial or give any advice that conflicts with what the RHS say. And if there is a potential for this plant to be invasive, believe me, one of the main reasons why I enjoy growing a jungle garden here is because we're in a beautiful part of the countryside with so much amazing native vegetation, animal life. Those are the things that we need to protect. So if there's any chance 
chance that one of our exotic plants can spread out, can outcompete and cause problems there, then absolutely we should all be taking the precautions to prevent that from happening. But my main query is, is Gunra cryptica actually invasive or is it just a fear, as named in the Guardian article, or the potential that it might be? So what does the ban actually mean? Well, essentially it means you can't sell the plant, which means you're not gonna see it in any garden centers. It's a plant that I've recommended in the past as an amazing starter for growing an exotic or jungle style garden here in the UK. You can't pick the plant up anymore. You're not allowed to propagate the plant or cultivate, which seems to be a little bit of a gray area, but most places where I've searched into, it basically includes watering the plant, doing anything you can to encourage a plant to grow and spreading it around. The one thing under no circumstances you're allowed to do, and hopefully we're all on the same page here, is to spread this plant or allow it to spread into the wild. Potentially, with Gunnera cryptica, that we used to be known as manicata, being a marginal plant, that's potentially where a bit of this issue has come to light. Because it's a plant that grows near water, you're not just worried about the seeds being spread by wildlife or self-sown around the place. Those can potentially be spread further by the water and potentially even rhizomes or crowns push down the stream where they can set up new colonies and outcompete the native vegetation down there. So I do understand on a practical level, any plant that grows near water, such as skunk cabbage, which was banned several years ago now, any plant like that that has the potential to be invasive, the controls definitely need to be stricter. And us exotic gardeners are such a small subset of growers. Most people, if they see a plant in the garden center, they will plant it in the garden without worry or concern about these issues. So I do understand that sometimes strong action has to be taken to preemptively stop any kind of invasive potential. If you know of Gunnera cryptica that's actually spread out into the wild, plants that have popped up that weren't planted there, then please do let me know. I'm really intrigued to learn more about the issue. And if there is any genuine proof of cryptica actually being invasive, then obviously my advice was 100% be chop off the inflorescences before they set seed and make all the common sense precautions that you can to stop this issue happening. You'll just have to excuse my garden being a complete mess at the minute. We had those stormy winds last night and all the fleece has got blown around, but it's December, I don't really mind. But basically, I think to summarize that point, skepticism. Personally, I'm not aware that Gunnera cryptica is actually spread around by a seed or you know rhizomes spreading, popping up elsewhere. It's a plant that whenever I've seen it grown in big gardens, such as Chatsworth, Treba, a lot of the other amazing jungle style gardens down in Cornwall, it always looks deliberately planted. And if this really was a plant with huge invasive potential, wouldn't you see it popping up everywhere around the coast outside of Treba? Wouldn't you see it spreading down the various streams and watercourses that chats with them popping up down the river? You don't see it there. So anecdotally, from what I know, Gunnera cryptica isn't as invasive as some people potentially might fear it to be. And in fact, I would probably go as far to say some plants might even be sterile because I know mine here, I cut the inflorescences off. I did it just a few weeks ago and I leave those on the ground behind the plants and not a single seed has grown from them. So to me, a plant that you actually struggle to grow from seed isn't likely to cause an issue of being invasive, not to the extent that Tinctoria does. As the rain continues to pour down around me, funnily enough, it was a rainy day when I filmed my dividing gunner video. Definitely shouldn't do that now. Potentially the storm was a bit of an omen there, but I'll end on a couple of points which I think actually support the need for this ban. And the first one is, like I mentioned earlier, a lot of the gunner manicata sold in the UK, the ones that were actually cryptica, actually turned out to be tinctoria plants. So we here in the UK can't actually properly police the sale of gunnera as it is anyway. So in that case, I can understand a blanket ban on large leaf gunnera because the ban on tinctoria did very little to actually restrict them in the trade in people's gardens and that invasive potential. So from that perspective, if we need a blanket ban to stop tinctoria being sold, then I completely understand it. And the last issue that I'll end on is, I know that Gunnera has actually been believed to be a hybrid for many years now, and this was only recently confirmed, but is there a sliding scale of cryptica? And by that I mean, can you have a plant that's 90% tinctoria, are they all 50-50? Where do the plants fall on this scale? Because in that case, I can understand that there's potential for these plants to develop, genes to change, and a plant to suddenly go from being sterile or nearly sterile to suddenly being almost 90% Dictoria with a 10% of Manicata that gives the size to really cause a problem. This is obviously an issue that will take a while to settle out, and a lot of places will continue to sell the Gunra stock while it's there. I do feel that it's a great shame that a lot of new growers won't have the chance to grow these just amazing, splendid, exotic plants, 
but it does mean some precautions, some extra responsibilities for those who's already growing the plant. Don't propagate the plant, don't let it spread outside, and if that means cutting the flower stalks off before they set seed, then you should definitely do it. I would love to find out more information on the subject. So if you know someone that has direct experience of gunner cryptica being invasive, or someone who actually researched the plants, the information that went into this, please do let me know in the comments below, because I'd be fascinated to find out more. But anyway, I'm going inside because it's really chugging down with rain now. I hope you've all had a great weekend and I'll see you all very soon. See you later.